Hey, welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes and today we are going to show you how to remove the Wajam virus, malware or undesired program that uh, probably you didn't even want to have in the first place. Um, if you go on Google and search and notice that there are undesired ads that weren't there before or you notice that the Google search has been modified or is different than it was before there's a chance that you have this Wedgem software installed this is often bundled with other pieces of software one of the very popular software that makes this thing on your computer available is the search conduit if you have that search engine installed it's a malware um, look at my video on how to remove it it's quite easy to do yourself uh, and even if you're unsure or if things look a little different you should go and actually check for the Wedgem software and make sure it's not on your computer uh, Wedgem is basically a, a type of social search engine uh, where it uh, you know helps you find all sorts of things depending on your social uh, abilities on your computer. Problem is this com this piece of software is mostly malware because it installs without most of the time without your knowledge. Um, where I've seen it because I infected my computer with it to make sure I can show you how to uh, remove it. It actually was you know they told me what jam would be installed yet you have no idea what what jam is and a lot of you out there just click yes yes or next and just don't read so uh, you might have this installed on your computer and you should remove it it is an undesired piece of software and it can hijack your browser into uh, different settings and change the way everything is uh, working in your search engine and uh, you just don't know what this piece of software is capable of so how do you remove what jam or how to check if you have it if you're not sure well go on to your start menu at the bottom left click control panel if you're in the category go on uninstall the program if you're in the icons view then just click programs and features and uh, look for what jam that blue icon with a kind of a W in the middle and just click uninstall you don't want to have that piece of software that's for sure and um, here it says with jam for Internet Explorer with jam on Chrome it affects all browsers so make sure that your browser is selected click on install and it's gonna remove the what jam software from your computer if you uh, have this installed on your computer or anything else or you have search conduit and everything first of all we have a video showing you how to remove search conduit so that's the first thing so uh, once you uninstall it you should see the Wajam uh, website the Wajam software uh, removed actually from your computer it's still uninstalling takes a little time as you see here so be patient until the uh, software is actually removed from your computer and uh, here we go successfully uninstalled with jam from your browser here we go let's go back here so it's not showing anymore which means that we uninstalled it so as you've seen uh, it opened the browser page in the background of my uh, programs uninstalled programs so uh, make sure you check out your browser and make sure that you see that page that says it was successfully uninstalled. Uh, once you removed it, I strongly suggest that you go on your browser, type in the address bar at the top www.malwarebytes.org to get onto this page where you go click free version download and scan your computer with Malwarebytes anti-malware because there's a good chance that if you had that installed on your computer you probably have some sort of malware or uh, maybe files are just left behind and remove everything that this piece of software will find so that you know that your computer will be okay once you restart so this was uh, 
a video on how to remove wood jam. Hope that you enjoyed. If you do, please uh, subscribe to our channel. We have uh, try to put videos every week showing you how to uh, use your computer to the maximum possible and help you with your problems and try to uh, help you fix those problems yourself. If you uh, have any comments, questions, maybe you uh, have a piece of software you don't know what it is and you're thinking, hmm, is it good? Is it malware? Ask away. Well, I try to answer these questions. And uh, maybe you have a feature, a uh, problem of some sort that we can uh, help you with. Maybe make a video of. And if we do, then you'll be helping others at the same time. And uh, hopefully, you will come back to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye-bye.